Alrighty, I will call the meeting of Public Works order. Uh, we'll start with roll call. Alder Heidemann. Alder Heidemann here. Alder Rust. Present. Alder Remy. Here. Alder Salazar. Here. And Alder Decker is here. Uh, let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, I think everyone knows everyone here, so I think we can skip introductions. Um, we'll go to uh, number five, approval of minutes from July 11th. I move to approve. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed. Chair votes aye. Those are approved. Okay, number six, general ordinance number 14-2324, July 17th, 2023. An ordinance repealing Article 14-3, Article 14-4, Article 48-3, Article 48-6, and creating Article 48-8, so as to simplify regulations for utilizing public property. I will speak to this matter. Okay. So uh, staff has been working for as long as I have been employed by the city to update various aspects of using public property, parks, sidewalks, other rights of way. Uh, we have had a lot of ongoing complaints about our processes being confusing and complicated. So this was an effort to streamline everything to make it user friendly. So we are, um, there's a lot of changes there. I'm not going to go through all of them as far as the, the common complained of one relating to encroachments on the side, sidewalk cafes and things like that. We're now changing it from use based to duration based. So um, we don't necessarily treat different uses differently, but we treat them differently based on if they use the space up to 90 days or 90 days or greater. Uh, you will be seeing in the near future a uh, proposed fee schedule update that will go along with this. Our goal is to have this completely approved in time for um, the day when we open up for reservations for the next year's events. Um, I'm open to questions. Anyone have questions? Thank you, Chairman. What's in place now? Is there anybody that's um, the change? Does that affect anybody in a negative way that's twice done it for the last 50 years? So no. there isn't somebody who can come back and say, hey, why did you change it? I know how to do this. I I was I, I understood everything, what my responsibilities were, and now now you're doing this to me. There may be people who felt they understood everything, but there were a lot of people who felt they didn't. Uh, a lot of people would complain that they didn't know, if I want to put a planter in front of my business door, do I need a permit for that? If I want to put a bench in front of my window, do I need a permit for that? Our ordinances weren't clear. Now it is clear. Uh, what do I need to do for a sidewalk cafe? What do I need to provide to the city, get it approved? What are the restrictions for having a sidewalk cafe? Now it's clear. So I can't envision a situation where someone is going to complain that these changes impacted them negatively. And if they, if there is a situation that comes out, I would ask to refer, I would ask you to refer that to me so that we can review it because maybe there's something we can consider. But our goal was to make this better for everyone. And I, and I understand that. So uh, the chamber is not involved in that. So there wasn't anybody from any outside organization that's going to say, hey, listen, you're, you're, we, we were never involved, or we can actually help implement this. So the Business Improvement District was uh, interested in seeing these changes go through. Uh, they met with staff right before I got hired, I think. David, were you involved in that meeting? I was uh, early on, okay. but then I think Dawn and Heather and some of the other staff, we there was some dialogue back and forth on some of these changes. And, and for the most part, we took all of their comments and it's a much more user-friendly positive versus uh, that in the past it was this is way too confusing. No one wants to do anything. They don't want to deal with you. That's why nothing ever gets done. Well, I, again, so yeah, that's that's the impetus to get where we're at. It was the only way the chance to trick somebody into doing something they didn't weren't supposed to be doing, and then we could we could love you. No, 
people. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, the old way was so poorly structured that we had limited work. We had a lot of people who would just do things. Uh, so, like a very common example that we would see would be like a board sign placed in the side. Um, historic that would have required some type of permit because putting something in cities right of way is a pedestrian access point it needs to comply with the A. So for the things which are planters and benches, we're not automatic privilege. It just once you start to the longer duration and the large looking at having a permit application. Also have questions. I just want to say I'm happily work on this. I mean to make it easier for the businesses to have it is is we don't need to work. We want to work with businesses. We want to be able to make it smooth and easy as possible. And make it how problem. how will this get communicated out to? Like, will the bid be sharing the businesses, or, or do you communicate it down riverfront, South Pier? I'm not sure. I'll have to talk with the mayor's office about putting something on social media communication to the bid. They brought, I've, I've had communication with Heather Cleveland, who's working with the bid on this issue. Um, but as far as like a, a media campaign, we thought that, that through yet. Yeah, even. Well, and I think Heather, office, we're also, as part of this, we're having some new software that will be available for online rentals of parks and online <laughs> transactions. And a part of this, as part of that rollout, we're going to roll these permit applications as well and have it all basically available, interactive, and a lot more clear for people to, instead of having to pick up the phone and ask, well, where do I go for this? Or who, who should I need? I understand for the park rentals. I'm specifically talking about, I'm being a little selfish of like my district of yeah. businesses who aren't going to kind of necessarily go to your website to rent a shelter. Some of these things are pertaining to sidewalk, to yard, you know, the A-frame signs. Some of this isn't turn rental based, it's business based. Correct, but there's still some of it will need a permit and will be managed through this permit system. But we'll we'll work with like the bid district, we'll push all this new information out, okay. we'll have a flyer, and we'll have information on there about the new the new regulations and how it will be streamlined. And if you have any questions, this is the process. Okay. Okay. And then I do just want to comment briefly. There will be, um, we'll be asking for an amendment to this. We had one more staff meeting today and caught something. So we'll be asking for an amendment today as well. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> okay. okay. Any other? Okay. Do I move for a motion? I move to approve. A second. Okay, motion has been seconded. And then um, we also would need an amend, move to amend so that section 48 reads as follow 48-95 reads as follows. And I'll just give this to you, Heather, when I'm done. Heather has a copy already. <laughs> oh, she does. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, uh, no person shall encroach upon, occupy, or obstruct, or encumber any public street or highway or part thereof unless expressly authorized to do so by the Common Council or by permit in accordance with this code or is specifically allowed by state law or another section of this code. No encroachment may reduce the pedestrian path to travel less than a continuous width of five feet or extend into the frontage of adjacent properties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the amendment to this is, is adding, this, this is our prohibition subsection, right? So this is how we're going to be enforcing citations. And um, we're adding that you can't encroach into the frontage of your neighbor's property. So if I own this parcel and I want to put a sidewalk cafe in front of it, I don't have permission to put a sidewalk cafe the entire block long. It's just in front of my parcel. Yeah, that makes sense. Unless they get permission from their neighbor or no? 
we would need to see some, I would expect that the neighbor would submit a request as well. I can't envision a situation where yeah, no, I'm trying to find it. Yeah. I think most people want that. Most businesses want their deep boundaries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was trying to think there was ground. Well, I, I think it's good. That's fine. So we need that to amendment for the also. I move to approve the amendment. Second. Okay. Most has made an amendment. We'll first we'll vote on the amendment and then we'll vote on the entire thing. So all those in favor of the amendment? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That's, that goes on to us. Now we will vote on the entire uh, process. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. It is approved. Don't you have to read the whole thing though? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have. I was reading you it have like, oh, like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was all we had on the agenda. Next meeting date is August fifteenth, twenty twenty-three. Seeing as we have exhausted the agenda, we need a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair will side. We are adjourned.